What's up guys, this is Ashish Tiwai here and you are watching Techno Tips jQuery tutorial. So this is part 13 of this video series. In this video, I'll be discussing about the jQuery effects, especially the visibility effects. So in jQuery effects, we will cover several topics like visibility effects, sliding effects, then fading effects and how to add remove CSS classes. And then finally, we will discuss about the animation effects. Okay, so we will cover each and every topic step by step so let's cover visibility effects so here we will discuss about the show hide and toggle methods okay so let's get started so in previous tutorial we have just covered the sibling traversal so here you can see uh, sibling in sibling traversal we have several methods like sibling next next all next until prev preval and prev until so let's check out the last method so here you can see uh, h2 is the selected um, selected element and brief until we have just used the span first span and you can see the h1 is selected now and means it uh, it has just got red border so here you can see so this brief until method just add the red border to all element lying between h2 and this is span tag so here you can see between h2 and this is span tag the h1 is lying and it has got red border okay so let's fulfill our today's objective so first of all I'll just delete each and everything from here let's save that and delete this also and instead of ancestor class we will just use meaningful class name that is block and here just copy that okay now I will create three separate divs let's give an ID equal to div1 and text div1 okay just copy that and create two more divs div2 and div3 div2 and div3 control kd okay now I'll just create three separate buttons so let's call it button id equal to btn1 and then we have let's say the first method is show method so show diff show diff one okay let's copy that paste paste okay and two button two and button three and the second method will hide diff two and the third method is toggle div 3 okay so we have separate button and separate div okay now let's check out the output here you can see div 1 div 2 div 3 and we have uh, div 1 div 2 and div 3 uh, buttons okay now in the document dot ready just write your method I'm just accessing the first button okay so hash button one dot click you can write your function here in this way and now I'm just going to access the div1 so same I'm gonna access it through div its ID that is div1 dot show method use div1 dot show so first of all you should hide div1 so that it can be visible to you so first of all just given a style style equal to display 
colon none okay so here you can see the diff one will be hidden on the page load and when I click on the button so div1 will be shown here let's try that Load. right now div1 is hidden so I can when I click on this div1 will be shown okay or dot show dot css let's say background color I'm just adding background color say uh, take red okay now when I click on the show button see the div one will be visible with a uh, red background okay or you can just add also text dot text diff one is visible now okay now let's try it out and I click on this see div one is visible now so here you can see I have just used the me method chaining we will discuss in later videos so here I have just used this show method then after dot I applied the red background and then I also changed the text of that div dot 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 okay now we will discuss the second method so div2 is now visible uh, right now the div2 is visible okay so it's just opposite to this when I click on the button 2 let's copy that paste here button 2 sorry I think you should copy the complete method copy that Control X and here. No div dot hide. Okay, only this method. So this is just opposite to show method. Okay, now div two. When I click on the button two, so div two will be hidden. Now reload this. So right now div two is visible here you can see when I click on the div1 so div1 is visible and when I click on the second button so hide div2 so div2 will be hidden so here you can see div2 is now invisible okay so this is my third method and let's discuss about the toggle method okay just let's copy that and paste here so button 3 click and this calling this function and here I have just defined div 3 and here I'll just use toggle okay so button 3 so div 3 will be toggle okay and then toggle <laughs> no method Now let's check out the output here. Just reload that. Okay, so when I click on the div one, so div one is visible. I can hide the div two. Div two is hidden. And now come to the second, uh, third method. So here we have toggle div three. So let's click on that. It is div three is hidden. When I click on again so here you can see div3 is visible now so it will just show hide the development okay so previously it was disable then it will be shown and uh, when it is shown it will be hidden 
okay so this is what toggle method doing okay so in this tutorial we have discussed three method that is click uh, sorry that is show height and toggle method okay so the show method is used to sh uh, display that element and it is used to hide that element and this toggle method is just used if it if it is shown then it will be hidden and if it is hidden then it will be shown okay so so hope you understand this concept okay so um, I have just covered visibility effects in the next tutorial I will just cover the sliding effects okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day